Welcome to this discussion on a crucial topic in emergency medicine, the potential replacement of traditional Macintosh laryngoscopes with video laryngoscopes in the emergency department. We'll be exploring the clinical, ethical, and technological aspects of this debate. Let's start with the clinical advantages of video laryngoscopes. Video laryngoscopes offer superior visualization of airway structures. This enhanced view is particularly helpful during difficult intubations, improving the first pass success rate and reducing the number of attempts. Studies show this translates to fewer complications. That's a significant improvement. However, are there any limitations to the enhanced visualization provided by video laryngoscopes? Yes, factors like fogging, secretions, or blood can obstruct the camera view, potentially hindering the procedure. This is a crucial point to consider. Let's move on to the impact on training and skill development. How do video laryngoscopes affect the training of healthcare providers? Video laryngoscopes facilitate real-time observation of the procedure, enhancing collaborative learning and improving team performance. However, over-reliance on them might lead to a decline in proficiency with traditional laryngoscopes. That's a valid concern about potential de-skilling. Hmm. What about patient outcomes? Do studies support the use of video laryngoscopes based on improved patient outcomes? Research indicates that video laryngoscopes are associated with lower rates of airway trauma, oxygen desaturation, and esophageal intubation. These improved outcomes strongly support their use in emergency settings. The cost effectiveness is a major factor in any technological adoption. How does the cost of video laryngoscopes compare to traditional ones, and does the cost justify the benefits? Video laryngoscopes are more expensive. However, the potential for improved patient outcomes and reduced complications, along with the potential for cost savings from reduced hospital stays and legal issues, can justify the higher initial investment. Equitable access to care is another critical ethical consideration. How does the cost factor affect access to this technology across different healthcare settings? The higher cost can create disparities in care quality, particularly in resource-constrained environments. This needs careful consideration in resource allocation. Let's discuss the evolving guidelines and recommendations regarding the use of video laryngoscopes. Are there any recent changes in recommendations? Recent guidelines from airway management societies recommend video laryngoscopy as a first-line technique, reflecting growing evidence of its effectiveness. Despite the evidence, resistance to adopting new technologies is common. What are some of the reasons for resistance among experienced clinicians? Resistance can stem from a reluctance to change established practices and a belief in the effectiveness of current methods. This is a significant hurdle to overcome. Technological advancements are constantly improving medical devices. What are some of the ongoing developments in video laryngoscope technology? Ongoing research focuses on addressing limitations such as equipment size and fogging. New innovations are constantly emerging. Considering all these factors, what is the overall conclusion regarding the use of video laryngoscopes in emergency departments? Video laryngoscopes offer significant advantages in terms of visualization and patient safety. While challenges remain, the trend is towards their adoption as standard practice. What are the key barriers that need to be addressed to facilitate the wider adoption of video laryngoscopes in emergency care? Addressing financial concerns, improving training programs, overcoming resistance among experienced practitioners, and mitigating technical challenges are crucial steps. What role does continued education and training play in ensuring the effective integration of video laryngoscopes into emergency care? Continued education is vital to ensure healthcare providers maintain proficiency in both video and traditional laryngoscopy techniques. This will optimize patient care. This has been a very informative discussion. Thank you for your insights. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section.